Hello, everyone. Welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss. All right, all right. Let's just get the browser back up there and let's get it going. So, between episodes, I did a little bit of basic base maintenance. I made sure to fully supply the Cog Dancer. I just dumped a whole bunch of resources into it. And it looks like I need to do some basic maintenance on my tools real quick. But that's not too terribly hard. We just need to grab these and get going. Alright. So, in this episode, the first thing on our agenda is, of course... Let's check the luck on this. Ooh, neat. It does upgrade to luck, too. So, the first thing on our agenda is, of course, to get going and get us some blocks of iron. Yep. So, let's get a shulker box out into our hand. And uh, I think the most convenient ships are back at spawn. Actually, wait, first, I don't have any torches on me. Let's make some torches. Yep. There we go. Just building on up. Really? I thought torches were made in the basic. With just sticks and charcoal. Yeah, they are. Oh, carpenters. Carpenters, of course. Silly me. If it's not in the basic, it's gonna be in the carpenters. Silly, silly me. Alright, let's get going. Let's hit one of those ships that are near spawn. Yep. Just keep it on daytime, just for the sake of... Uh, hello, computer wizard. <laughs> yes. Uh, Lane? All right, hello. Well, I wish you all the luck in it. Um, I I know it's it's considered rude to provide advice when it's not wanted, but um, if I can offer you any advice whatsoever, let me know. I am always happy to help. Yeah, let's completely clear this ship out. I just need iron, but I might as well get everything just in case. Actually, let's work from one end to the other. Yeah. Oh, oh, Ian. Ah, I misread that I as an L. Hello, Ian. Well, I wish you all the luck. Uh, what do you plan to do on your channel? Like, uh, what kind of stuff do you think you'll be doing? Are you going to be doing Let's Plays, commentary? What you doing? And, uh, FYI, this actually isn't early. This is late. I could not sleep. <laughs> I regularly get trouble with that. Can't just shut myself down. So, mm, tabletop RPG videos, all right, well, that is a genre that isn't very well served, but I do see a lot of enthusiasm for it. Oh, hello. Where did he come from? Let me turn F7 mode on. Well, he could have come from the lower decks, I suppose. So, are, are you a DM? Are you a player? Are you just gonna be doing, like, videos about... about lore and about mechanics? Oh boy, we caught, we caught Bonitis from the skeleton there. Ah, there's the problem. I was holding a torch in my hand so I couldn't see where the dark spots were. Well, we could use a few extra bones anyway. Uh, either way, uh, drop a comment, like, in whatever video I'm putting out today, just so I can know where your channel is, and I'll give you a shout-out. Like, um, I, I don't know, maybe on a live stream, maybe just on the... Maybe just on a video, whatever. Try and get some attention your way. Ah... 
it has been a long time since I played any tabletop games. I was way into it back in D&D &D 3.5 and kind of drifted away from it. Um, right now I'm looking at a friend of mine is trying to get me into playing Godbound, which I can't seem to get my head around just reading through it, but it's it'll be interesting. He's doing a, a mashup of uh, Godbound and um, and Spelljammer, where um, the character that I designed for it is basically he's going to be a demigod of capitalism, where uh, the words the the words are the kind of class system of Godbound. The words I picked I think were health, wealth, um. Deception and ah yes, and he said we could we could pick a fourth one, but it was only it was only granted to us through an artifact, and my artifact word was luck. And like basically, the backstory I designed for this character was um, he was he was the priest he was a priest of Joaquin, Lady Luck getting a little bit of Forgotten Realms lore into there. And he, uh, basically, his world came under assault from Atropus, the, the world-born dead. And in the process of fighting back for it, he basically became the world's Elon Musk. And while he wasn't able to save the world, he was able to get together a spell jammer just basically through the power of, of, uh, of venture capitalism and save a few people and himself. Which was considered such a feat that he basically ascended as a minor demigod from it. <laughs> Which is how Godbound do. You aren't playing a low-level character. You are playing someone who is, like, at the end of their adventure and they've ascended to godhood, essentially. Yes. Well, well, maybe not loved ones so much as just all his stuff, you know? He tried to save the world. It's where he keeps all his stuff. But since he couldn't, he just tried to... And, and a couple of people can take a ride along the way. You know? And let's not keep those. Not keep those. I don't need any more factory blocks at the moment. I don't care about coins. Those we can put in the box. Mm hmm. Huh. For some reason, I'm still. Oh, it's because I wasn't fully loaded. Yep. It, it, it definitely looks interesting, but I kind of, I have no idea, like, we're basically starting a campaign at max power and only getting more powerful from there. I have no idea how you're going to weave a narrative out of that. Especially when part of it is necessitated where everyone has already had a big long journey. Everyone has already had their, their, um... Ascension, like, Godbound would be almost good for importing a campaign into, I think. Like, if you run a long-burning 4th or 5th edition campaign and everyone's getting to level 20 and, like, you're at the end of the campaign, maybe maybe you switch books, you switch to Godbound and, like, you import the party as best you can into it. But I'm not sure how it would work just with a fresh new party. And I'm kind of leery of it. But then again, as you can see from me playing Journey Beyond the Abyss, I may be a bit more of a fan of grinding up from nothing than is healthy for me. Mind you, I very much like having my stuff once I have it. I just like earning it too, you know? But yes, we're getting a lovely pile of iron. This should serve us very well in making some machine frames. Oops. 
that on the floor, please. But yeah, by all means, um, I, I've never been able to figure out how to f reach someone's channel from the chat, especially not like since Google is not saving my chat um, my chat history for whatever reason. So leave yourself a comment on one of my videos so I can track you down and uh, get you properly shouted out. I'll put like a pinned comment on one of my videos leading to you once you get your channel going. Hmm. The world was relatively... Huh. Neat. So it's like, it's kind of that, that first mythic age when everything is getting going, huh? And like, uh... The, the period of, like, really big-time heroes and Merlin and stuff like that running around before before everyone realized, like, uh, but before everything gets civilized. Hey, by all means, though. By all means, when you get it going, let me know. I'll be very much interested. Okay, and let's just leave a nice crisp mark on this ship just so that we if we actually bother looking through journey map we'll know that this is a dry well there we go just scratch an x onto there as best i can and yep that's visible okay i just realized i'm probably going to start dying of dehydration when i teleport home Oh, well. Huh. Not as bad as I thought it would be for some reason. Okay. Let's offload our goodies if the game will stop lagging. I really need to buy some more RAM. Hmm. Fast tech advancement, eh? Interesting. Well, it sounds like you got a compelling campaign setting here. Alrighty then. And the rest we'll just throw in in whatever form they have. The only reason I really bothered to chisel those iron blocks is because there's multiple different types of it out there. So try and get everything into one type, you know? And it might as well be the canonical one. can put that in there and that cleans it all out Ugh. the worst part of being diseased is all the particles following you around hmm huh. so it's kind of it's kind of like it's almost an isekai just more uh, just less you're here to save the world and more hey, hey l let me tell you about my timeshare uh, um no okay well screw you then <laughs> god being a dick beautiful all right and that flash i don't need to keep all right so machine frames for the block breakers well for the spike traps of the block breaker so that's going to need I'm going to want to make three block breakers. So I'm going to need to make a total of nine machine frames, which means three crafts. So that means three, six, nine, 12, 24, 36 blocks. Easy enough. What else do I need? Well, I, I oops, not that one. I am going to need four machine frames. I'm going to need those obsidian cogs, of course. I'm also going to need mechanical hoppers. So I need to put a load of tarred planks on the burn. Oh, boy. Yeah, meddling gods, all right.
Well, I mean, if the god isn't really giving him much of a choice about it, then it is really dickish of him. Like, it doesn't matter that he's not going out of his way to antagonize them. He's already displacing them. Hmm. Well, by all means, have fun with it. Sounds like you've got a good thing going. Just throw those out. I'm probably going to need to start compacting things down or something sooner or later. Well, then again, I shouldn't need much more in the way of sticks anytime soon. Okay, so... How you doing? Great. Okay, so... Let's... In fact, let's completely get this down to just machine frame and let me... So, because I'm looking at that a lot. So, yeah, I've got enough for that. Okay, cool. We can make the three mechanical hoppers we're going to need. I just need some masonry bricks. That's not enough masonry bricks. That's probably not enough sticks either. Yeah. Well, it's enough to make three. No, it's not. No, it's not. Well, burn some more. Easy fix. Huh, almost out of cobble. Well, we're about to fix that problem too, ain't we? Yep. Just fix all our problems by ignoring them until we get more infrastructure together. That's a healthy way of going about things. And you know what? Let me just make a pile of pulp fresh off the press. Ooh. Gnomes willed themselves into existence? Sounds like something gnomes would do. Oh, wait. What? Didn't I? Oh, did I mistakenly pull this out before it was done? That's not going anywhere. Okay, it must have to be jungle wood or, you know, a recognized type of wood then. Yeah, see how that's emitting green particles when it wasn't before? Oh, boy. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, I I've seen gnomes done a whole bunch of ways. But usually they tend to be an excuse for a person to play the classic, uh, I am to penguin of dooms hold up spork style of chaotic neutral. Especially in settings like Pathfinder, where gnomes have the built-in excuse of the bleaching, where they have to seek out new experiences or else they start fading away and aging. So, unfortunately, they have that aspect, but when done right, gnomes can be very, very interesting. It's just that they're very rarely done right. Just like Chaotic Neutral is very rarely done right, really. I guess that while that's cooking, I can track down where I put those nano machine frames. Right there. So I'm just going to need six of those. <laughs> well, yeah. No, often I think Chaotic Stupid is more Chaotic Evil. Yeah, that that's the real Chaotic Stupid right there. It's so rarely done with any sort of, com of compelling intensity to it. Like, I mean, maybe Heath Ledger's Joker is a compelling chaotic evil, but that's about it in terms of examples I can think of in any form of media, let alone in tabletop where everyone is just making up shit as they go along. Eh, why not? Okay, so machine frames, that should be everything. Sweet. I just need to go and pick up those gears. Yeah. But... Again, it is very, very rarely done right. It's normally the the cackling, mustache-twirling evil because evil alignment. It is the stupidest of stupid evil, and it's the type of evil that betrays itself. Yeah. The way that 90% of people do it, I mean. Oh, one, two, three, four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. And you know what? Let's take out the shulker box because I don't have room in the bag. And yeah, we should see that I, I've, uh, like I said, between episodes, I picked up a couple of supplies. So the clog dancer should be fully able to, to supply us with everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And yeah, it's just going to be. It's not quite as slow as doing this by hand, though, eh? Not as slow as doing this by hand. Mm. Yeah, evil campaigns tend to just devolve into into really gross things. I once saw a campaign where uh, they were doing an evil campaign and they were searching for any excuse to have their cleric have the healing domain because they didn't have any other healer and no one else was running the type of character that would do it. And like... Rather than trying to, rather than trying to figure out a compelling gameplay style where, like, maybe they're relying on potions, maybe they are, I don't know, abducting clerics and forcing them to do healing against their will. Maybe they're being at all creative about it. Instead, they searched for, like, any excuse at all to have a cleric with a healing domain. And eventually, they came up with the excuse of homebrewing a god of cannibalism. Yeah. And their cleric, their whole thing was he healed people so that he could continually harvest them for fresh meat. That was a fucked up campaign, I tell you what. Ha! <laughs> nice. Yeah, that that's kind of, uh... That's kind of working with... Working with the system, I suppose. Okay, so, which one? I suppose it doesn't matter. Since this thing has so many stick slots, it continually empties the chest. Yeah. Well, I mean, the torture was definitely a part of it. So, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20... 21, 22, 23, 24. And that should be enough gears. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 2. One more. There we go. That should be sufficient gears to make all of these machine frames that we're going to need. Yeah, I mean, give players a reason to munchkin and you'll come up with some pretty horrifying munchkinry. Whether it's plot or whether it's mechanics. And evil campaigns just give them absolutely no restrictions on how far they will go. So it tends to get pretty gross. Right, I had this in my bag. Yes. Cool. So... Steel! I forgot the steel. Well, that's easy. We'll just steal some from here. Ha 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 Okay. Oh, right. I should also... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then... Doop. And lock. Yeah, that works. And the final batch of gears... Just shift click them all into there. And, oops. I guess I didn't have anything else in there. Yep, that'll do. Even when I try and do it the uh, the sexy way, I fail at it. Huzzah. Hey there, 12th Century Fox. Nice to see ya. Okay. Put everything away. Yep. And we'll just put this in miscellaneous, I guess. Hmm. 
So, 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 so. Next, for our block breakers, let's get these spike traps assembled. So I'm going to need... It's one per each. No, no, it's three per each. So I'm going to need a total of nine of those spike traps, which means I'm going to need a total of 18 pistons. Oh, boy. We need more. Oh, no. We don't need more. We don't need any more. Well, we're probably going to need a few more, because I think pistons are a different part of the recipe. Dwarves versus zombies. I don't think I've ever played that one. Sounds interesting. Is it is it like one of the high pixel mini games or something, or is it an outright mod in in and of itself? Oof! The crush of the crowds. Just pick us up a stack of cobble. And hope it's going to be enough. I should probably pick up more, but uh, getting social anxiety just standing there. Oh god, all the people. Alright, now just grab these, and we're going to have to switch this back to lava mode, ain't we? Nope. We just need to fill it up with more lava. So, pistones. Game lag. And there we go, 18 pistons. Really probably gonna need to craft some more engineering blocks pretty soon though. Okay, da -da 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 -da. next, to make the spike traps. Gonna need a bunch of those little things, and the rest is... I should have picked up more cobble. We're gonna need more than one stack of cobble. Hmm. Interesting. Now, I've never been really into the whole online multiplayer aspect of Minecraft. I've never really looked into a whole lot of the servers. I've just been delving deeper into what single player does with mods. But that definitely sounds interesting. Come on. The lag is getting a little bit ridiculous. So, can I just shove all those? Yeah, God, there. There we go. And that should hopefully be enough. Considering I cleaned out all their cobble, building the initial seed of the platform, they filled up their stocks pretty fast. It's inspirational how fast the Normans work, at least once you get the village big enough. But still, they are not going to be working fast enough for what we need to do. We need lots. And so we need to get lots. And that means making our own machines with blackjacks and hookers. So, I'm going to need, let's see here, three blocks per, I'm going to need 27 blocks of redstone. Going to need just a bunch of cobble, as well as some little iron shards. Let's just, I don't know, chunk up 16 worth of iron, see if that does it. Over there. And what else do I need? That should do it. Alrighty then. So. Da, 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 da. Take those. And can I... Oh, it's blacksmiths. And can I... Oh, it's stone, not cobble. Okay, well... Let's just cook up a couple stacks of stone. That's at least easy. If the dang camera will zoom out far enough to let me actually do it. I should probably clear out all this dross. Let's 
It's just taking up space. I suppose technically I could throw that rock in the cog dancer, but that's such a minor thing. Yeah. The ash, however, the ash I definitely want to save. Because that's a resource that I haven't figured out a good way to automate, whereas pebbles I have. Okay, get those back out again. Hmm, neat. You, you make a compelling argument for playing this mode. Okay, nine lovely little spike traps to make us some block breakers. Now, next step, next step is we are going to need three of these hardened casings. The rest, the alloy ingots, we can just make that in the alloy kiln real quick. I'll get that cooking. Let's just get a stack of iron, stack of redstone, and start chunking it all in. We'll need some more redstone to throw into there sooner or later, but red alloy is relatively cheap, relatively easy. Uh, let's put these machine frames away in here. I'm eventually going to want to make a new engineering station out of that. Uh, oh, why was I looking in there? I was looking in here. So, hardened casing. Oops. So, hardened casing. That's going to require these sturdy casings. So we need to make three of these. So let's just work our way down. Starting with the heavy engineering blocks. Do we have three of those? Yes, we do. Okay, so we just need to make a bunch more redstone engineering blocks in order to... Why do I have mechanical components in there? They belong in here. Well, regardless, I need them at the moment. So I'm going to need iron, some copper, and a bunch of redstone. To just make as many redstone engineering components as I can. Beautiful. Let's also get some more um, lava on the burner. Really need to figure out... I mean, I suppose... No, that wouldn't work. Yeah. And I, I think the end story is I just need to transition this industry to the main bus base and get some sort of automated lava. Why is there a butterfly in the base? Why is there a deadly, deadly butterfly in the base? Ignore it, and it'll ignore us. At least we can hope. That's a healthy way of treating your problems, right? Just ignore them and hope they go away. Okay, so... Let's... I'm also going to need... I probably need to pick up the copper from over at the pump jack, don't I? Yep. Ah, good. I didn't clean this out all the way. Okay. Eng block. Now these. Now those. Yep, yeah, need more. Need more gear. Need more gear. How many am I going to need in total? To make three of them, I need four more. Well, let's just grab a nice... Grab whatever supply we have and see what we can make out of it. Let's see here. The copper was over here, right? Yeah, we eventually moved it over here. Not there, though. Was it here? I thought that was silver. Yeah, that was silver. So then where was the copper? There was the copper. And I was putting that in a crate? Why? Oh well. Yeah, let's just pick out all the gears, pick out a couple stacks of ingots, and sort my bag a bit better. I wish I had an auto-sort button in this pack. Eh, not good enough. We need the shulker box. There we go. Alright, sort it all away. Good. Save me from this tyranny shulker box. Thank you. Alrighty then. I really wish that there was a 
I mean, there is a technically better solution for dehydration than just dunking your head in dirty water, but there isn't. It's uh, You can make yourself like... Um, these fancy drinks that fully replenish your hunger, your thirst bar, and they are not all that expensive, but they are like potions. They only stack to one. They don't, um, uh, they, they give you empty bottles. They're just inconvenient. They are just inconvenient to use. If I could just make, like, a stack of them, and if they gave nothing back, if they just destroyed themselves completely upon use, then maybe I would use them. But that's just not how it works. Okay, that's probably good enough. Just make ourselves a small excess of resources while we're in the area. Okay, so... So, so, so. Also, gears in there. And there we go. So, to make these sturdy casings, I'm gonna need three of those, 12 of those, and 12 of those. So, three, 12, and 12. Next, I'm gonna need a ton of bronze. But thankfully, we should have a ton of bronze still. Yep. And I don't have a lot of blocks of bronze, though. That's the problem. Well, what do we got for 10 gears right now? We don't have a lot. Well, what have we got for bronze? We can just melt that down. Turn it into the blocks. As well as... Let's see, would that even be enough? What do I need? I need 12 of them, and that'll produce 7 blocks that I just threw in. So I'll have 13 in total. I'll have enough. Leave that on the pour and hopefully catch it on the last one so we don't waste an ingot of bronze. Okay, so what else am I going to need? Uh, nothing. So what else am I going to need for this? Just the redstone alloy blocks and two more pistons. Well, let's throw more redstone into the alloy here. Just keep that a-going. And let's make those last two pistons. So, just one, two, three, four, as well as four, eight cobble, and six of these. And then I should just be able to do that. And from there, it'll just be redstone alloy, as well as these casings. Which we aren't down to we aren't down to the last block just yet. Not just yet. Little bit further to go. Yeah, I think just pour it manually. Two I think the I think the spigot is actually the slowest part of this for once. It's not the drying. Usually it's the casting itself that slows it down, but not with this, I guess. Or you know what? I could just fix the problem by there. Yeah, now it's fixed. Okay, cool. So how many of those you need six, twelve, eighteen of them? Done. Okay, cool. And cast. And now... Yeah, I think six is enough to do the craft itself. So if I just take those, that should get me my lovely casings. Yep. Three of them, no problem whatsoever. Now it's just a simple matter of putting them in the carpenter with some diamonds. And a little bit of water.
Honestly, I think this step is entirely just to make automating this more annoying. Um, Optifine is the only one allowed by the rules of the challenge for this pack. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. But that's, that's how it goes, right? If I look in the recipe for this. Yeah. Oh, it's five buckets per. Well, that's easy. But yes, I do have Optifine installed. But that's all I'm allowed is Optifine. And uh, better FPS comes as part of the pack. Okay. Oh, right, right. Yeah, three more. Three more is what it needs. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five more, rather. Got confused, just like King Arthur. What else do hardened casings go into Rainmakers? I've tried those in creative, and they're useless in this pack. Weather 2 breaks them. Inductive Furnace, I suppose. Hmm. Electrotine, our lovely Brock Breaker, Item Importer. Looks like all the Project Red stuff. Which, unfortunately, Project Red pipes are uh, not really possible right now. I would love to hook up all my chests onto some Project Red pipes and not have to worry about sorting my own items anymore. Just have a big bulk of chests out of sight somewhere. But um, it's... Just not going to happen. Not until I have heavier automation. Oh? Ara Novu. Huh. Ars Magica 2? I've never played either of those. I, I, I've i never played with either of those. Oh, I need to make six pistons. Forgive me. Well, that's easy enough now that we have the engineering blocks on hand. Just grab... Yep. Pistone. Beautiful. Okay, and the rest should just be a bunch of cobble and or stone, right? Is it? It's cobblestone. Alrighty then. That's easy, easy. Just grab everything we bought. And redstone. A little bit of redstone. Redstone we can definitely afford. All right. Three block breakers get. Isn't that beautiful? All right. So it's time for us to make our first automated resource. Fully automated, I should say. So. So, so, so. Uh, we are going to need 60 pieces of sheet metal to make a silo. That is correct, right? Yes, the silo is what we're going... 50 pieces. It's a good thing I checked. The silo is what we're going to be running the cobblestone ultimately into. It's just a big pile of sheet metal with a little bit of fencing. And it's as simple as that, really. So, we just need to melt a bunch of iron down into plates and uh, then chunk it up into sheet metal. And that's it. Can't believe I left that thing on. So what's Ars Magica and Ars Novo like about? What, what kind of stuff do you get up to in it? Is it like Thomcraft where it's all kind of the hermetic science of magic? Is it more like Batania? What's it like? Hmm. Yeah, Thomcraft is just a classic one. Although Thomcraft has gone through a lot of changes over the course of its life, hasn't it? It seems to reinvent itself slightly with every Minecraft version it uh, upgrades itself to. 
Code your own magic with runes and stuff. Sounds interesting. Sounds fascinating, really, yeah. Okay, well, let's start to consider what else we're gonna need. We're gonna need those treated wood fences. So, I have some sticks, I have some... I don't have any treated wood, do I? Uh, I have a little bit. That should just be enough, that would be enough to make a single fence. I could have sworn I had more treated wood than that. Did I move it over here? Yes, I did. Keep that over here, please. So, treated sticks, treated wood. Pile everything up on itself. And I believe the fencing is just like this and like that. Tree fence. Ah, it's just like that. And it's going to require creosote oil, of course. Of course it will. So, we need to put that up there. And do I have any creosote oil on hand? A little bit. That should make five, right? That is giant sequoia not treated. Yeah, that'll make five. Cool. Hmm. That sounds interesting. That sounds a little bit like, um... What was that one mod that did psionics that you literally programmed with logic? Oh, I had some fences on hand already. I have some sheet metal on hand already, but oh well. Uh, Synergy, maybe? I remember it being in one of the Enigmatica packs. That's where I saw it. Well, not remembering all the details is honestly a wonderful way to get into mods, isn't it? That's just like, you get lost in it once more and you have to learn it fresh, and that's probably the best way of reinforcing it into your mind. Psycraft? Nah, yeah, I should have guessed. When in doubt, just put craft on the word. Okay. Come on. And... Oh, I already had the fencing on me. Alright, so... Next, I'm gonna need just some... Redstone dust, a few redstone... I'm gonna need a single redstone torch. I still have one in storage over here. The one that we use to automate our smeltery. Oh, that's that's wonderfully, wonderfully thematic, isn't it? And yes, I'm just gonna need some building blocks, as well as, of course, a bucket of lava and another bucket for some water. It's about time we have a second bu bucket to carry around. We can afford the luxury. Yeah, Minecraft logic. Well, uh, it it is legitimate classic logical programming. It's it's kind of pseudocode. It's nothing to snub your nose at. It is still very fun to play with. It's just that it doesn't have all the commands to make a proper full coding language in it. It doesn't quite have the capability, but it just because it's just because it's simplified doesn't make it any less what it is. I remember having lots of fun getting lost in Psycraft and trying to figure out how to exploit it. It was it was kind of similar uh, with Blood Magic's actual spells, which unfortunately I never got to show off in in uh, Regrowth. But making the actual spells in Blood Magic, oh, that's loads of fun, and you can make some pretty broken stuff out of it too. All righty then. So, daytime, please. Hmm. So I'm gonna need to make... Uh, yes, I'm also gonna need some pipes. Gonna need some pipes. Have to lay some pipe. Hmm. And I think I will just use buildcraft pipes. I could use conveyor belts, technically. But, meh. Oh, right. I'm putting them all in here now, aren't I? No? Where am I putting them? I know I have some spare, don't I? Am I just being blind? Okay, so there's... No, I don't need those. I need those. I'm gonna need a clay pipe. 
gonna need a void pipe. And I'm gonna need a new type of pipe. I'm gonna need some obsidian pipe. Do I have any obsidian in storage? Yeah, just two, that's enough. Oh, did I see that I had some sand? I thought I saw... Oop. Like, somewhere. Yeah, that's sand. Why is that... Ah, oh well. Just make it, please. Hmm. Heh. <laughs> Bill Bess Baggins. Many great quotes coming out of Bilbo, of course. Oh, boy. Well, I feel bad about it, but oh well. Also, need to just empty this out real quick. Um, here. Oh, we need to refill the gasoline. You know, it'd be funny if she was treated the exact same way as Can and Bilbo. Everyone just interacts with her the same way, even calling her Uncle Bilbo still. That would be enough to really make you wonder. All right, that's the output side. What am I thinking? There we go. Fill her up. Build craft pipes are really pretty when they're fully pressurized. They kind of glug all realistically. But when they are in the process of filling things up still, it, it they definitely derp a lot. Hmm. Damn, that's always a good time. Excellent taste in ways to pass the time. Okay, just need a little bit, please. Thank you. And let's -a go. So, where do we want to build this thing? Well, the way to decide that is we need to decide where our storage is going to start. So, this initial bit of storage that I'm going to build here, this first, I want to build it on, well, let's open the chunks. Okay, cool. So I want to build it forward-ish into the chunk, but not all the way forward. Because uh, I need to make some machinery to act, to extract from it up here. So this square works. So I'm going to be building my storage, my uh, solid storages down this way, down to the west. And I might have some liquid storages going down to the east. But this kind of, this level will be where the storages all are. So then... I guess, let's get the chunk loaded, oops. So I guess these two chunks can be loaded and I can put the cobble gen like back down here. Would it cause lag if it's crossing multiple chunks? I mean, maybe the active redstone parts of it. Oh, I left the glass on me. Oh well. It's not a huge worry. There we go. And just keep on building her up. Move forward a little bit. It's unfortunate that sheet metal weighs so much. But once we build enough, our view will mercifully zoom out once more. And basically when we're done, just seal it off with a final full nine by a full a full uh, slab. 
three by three, yes. All right, and then, as with all good things, give it a whack with a hammer. Right here. Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful silo. All right, so. We're gonna be inputting through the bottom, just because as a general philosophy, I want to build as much infrastructure out of sight as possible and make use of that maintenance layer. So, I'm going to clay pipe down there. And I guess there's no choice but to put a void pipe off on the side. Kind of have it hanging out ugly. And from there, we just run the gold pipe down. So... I'm gonna need to build a little bit. How much space do I have in the chunk still? Not enough for the collagen, so it needs to be in this chunk. I mean, it's not a terribly big construct, but it is still bigger than that. So, the way that the collagen works is I'm gonna. Yeah, this will be a fine. This will be a fine for the output line. So let's run the gold pipe down. And then we put three obsidian pipes on top of it. Oh, and I should make some iron pipes to root it better. Yeah. And that means I'm going to need a wrench, too. Turn those off. Okay, some iron pipes and a wrench. Neither should be terribly expensive. Oops. Iron pipe with the glass that I mysteriously found. From the sand I mysteriously found, I should say. And just dupe and dupe iron pipes. But to use those effectively, we're gonna need a wrench, which is thankfully relatively simple. Just like that. And like that. And three more iron. Just a dupe. And a dupe. Alrighty then. So, the iron pipes will force items to go down one direction. Normally with Buildcraft, they will 50-50 pick which path they want to take and you'll get even splits down all paths. And eventually they would find their way up to the silo just when they start going the right direction here. But it would be really slow and derpy and it would potentially cause lag just from having an, un an ungodly amount of entities moving through the pipe. So we will tell it which way to go. So, in order to use them you just right click them with the pipe and the clear side is the way they go. So this one is saying, don't go up, only go left. I'm not allowed you to go right. So go left, go left and go left. And that, uh, and the obsidian pipes. Yes, the obsidian pipes we made are because they will catch entities and put them into the transport system. And that just shoves them into the pipe and thus up into the silo. Beautiful. So, next we need to position the block breakers so that they will spit into these pipes. Because that's how block breakers work. They just launch right out to their front side, straight into, straight into the world. So I believe that if I just put them up on this level, oh wait, we, we don't want them on this level, we want them over here. No, actually that should work, that should work. If I, 
Ah, uh, no, wait, wait. They need to be redstone controlled, and I don't remember if redstone interacts with iron pipes or not. So just to be safe, this should work anyway. So block breakers over there. And let's give this... Ah, no, wait, yes, it does need to be this way. It does need to be this way. And in fact, I think it needs to be one space further. Potentially. So, if I build there. Okay, so. Luckily, just placing a single redstone torch should hit all three of them. So, I put some... Oh, wait, wait. Facing the other way. Face the other way, please. Right. Okay, cool. I was being stupid. Forgive me, I'm I'm very, very tired right now. Oh boy. Probably tired enough that I should other way. Other way. That I should go to bed. But I want to finish this at least. So let's try it right there. Just like that. And cobble right there. So if we put a redstone torch. Right here. Should break, spit them out. And yep, they land right in the pipes. Cool. So now we just need to make a little a little lava gen. A little light in there. So. Hmm. Okay. So, 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 so. I'm also going to want to keep in mind how I'm going to be pulsing this thing. I'm going to be pulsing this thing with a simple redstone clock, which means I need more torches. But thankfully, redstone torches are easy. I'll just make several. Even though I technically only need three, I think. But I'll just make some. Yeah, that's good enough. There we go. Nice pile of redstone torches. And I should also grab a lever, too. All right. Definitely thinking that I'm going to need to move the storage system over to the main bus base sooner or later. I might do that off screen between episodes. Because that is horrible to watch, I know. Okay, so... No, that wouldn't work, would it? Yeah, because... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, it would work. It would work. Because if this is the level that the water is on, and if I put the lava up top, then that'll be fine. Yeah. That'll be fine. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Alrighty then. So. And torch. Let's make a pulser real quick. Just there. Leading to there. Leading to there. Leading to there should do it, right? No. Shoot, I'm bad at this. <laughs> I'm bad at vanilla redstone. Hey, Devin, nice to see you. Nice to see you. The lag spike greets you too. Yeah, the lag spike greets you too. Okay, so. Hmm. 
Right, that's how it should go. That's how it should go, because now it needs to move that out. Yeah, that'll do. Oops. And that's still not... Okay, so it needs to go, like, that then. And that should... There, that's a nice, simple pulser. A bit longer than it needs to be. Eh. My torch has got infected by something, of course. It's good enough, though. So, that will pulse our cobble gen. Now, no, wait. I need this to... Yeah, that'll be the... This'll be where the water sources are. Shoot. Need to move it out a bit further. Should have built the platform completely before I tried to build the mechanism. Oh well, what is life if not a, so a source of derp? Let's just build that out just to remind us. There we go. So, water leading in there. I'll put lava sources on top of it so it pours down. And then we just need to figure out how to get the pulsar going. So, let's see if I can build it less derpily this time. So... Eh, no, I need to move it out here. Yeah. All the way out over here. There we go. So let's do that. And can I just... Right, it needs one more. The heck? What was that behavior? Huh. It's causing, like, some sort of interesting... Derp there. Okay. Well, let's just... Let's just move it a bit out if that's having trouble. There, that's working. And yes, that's going to drive me nuts, the fact that it's making that thunk noise on the water. So that's why we brought a lever, so that we can just turn it off. Okay, so, next, we just need to make a catch basin for the lava. I need more cobble. Well, no, it's, it's kind of hard to get resources out of silos without having a piping system already in place. And in any case, I think there's only like 10 cobble in there. God, the crowd's in this place. I think I've let the village breed a bit too far. This is what happens when you are living in a way that's letting the knights pass. The village just balloons out of control. Alrighty then. So, finish building out our casing here. We want to block off the source completely. 
And I think I could just place the lava right up there and it would work, but I'll, I'll go one higher for safety. Prevent it from becoming obsidian. Okay, so if I just do then we should have reached a point. Wait, was that allowing pollution through? Liquid should prevent pollution from going through. Let's see, is this gonna be producing pollution? Not looking like it, it should have produced by now. But yes, we have working cobble gen. Look at that, look at it go. And because the system is self-voiding, there's no real worry about me putting redstone controls to automatically shut it off. I can just leave this running. The only downside for it is the slight lag it might generate and the fact that if I'm living too close to it, that noise will drive me nuts. So let's kind of close off the redstone chamber on this thing just so that the blinking isn't rendering. If I put that in the center, will that still act as a valid lever for turning this off? Yeah, that works just fine. As yeah, so a note that once we shut it off, it still needs to clear out the pipe. So even, even if we were like, well, that, that's just an issue we need to keep in mind in general, I suppose. That we need to we need to account for the system clearing out whenever we are designing auto shutoffs on things. It won't shut off right away. It'll still it'll still be transporting items until there's no more to transport. The era of instant shutoffs, of instant control, is not quite upon us. We don't have transport pipes that are that fast yet. All right. Well, you know, I should just, I should get a, uh, I should get a lever so I can fill up a box from that. Yeah, that's a plan. Indeed, cobble for the cobble gods. All right. And I should be able to just put a box on this thing and that will empty out into it. Yeah, if I put like a lever, hmm, that'll also empty out into the clay pipe, won't it? Oh well, we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Well, it's filling up that. And it's actually not coming out the pipe. Interesting. Well, let's just let that box fill up. Are we producing faster than it can? Uh... It's close. It's only outputting very slightly faster than we're generating cobble. That's inspiring, isn't it? But yes, with this, we now have enough cobble to start building platforms of sizable girth. We have cobble to use as building blocks forever. And let's just kind of start sealing off all the functional parts of this so that nothing can go wrong. Yeah, might as well make it a bit more even. Yeah, it's the, anom it's the anomalous, weird, wonky, sideways, chodish cobblestone dick sitting in the front of our base, pumping sweet cobble into the system. Yes, sizable proportions. 
like this why is journey map not working journey map is not working oh boy yes beautiful sizable girth but uh, once we've got some cobble built up in this system, it'll be time to start taking our track blueprint and just blossoming out. I'm probably gonna wanna own like, I really wish, ah, there, there. I don't know why that wasn't working before, bizarre. But yeah, I'm probably gonna want to essentially make something about the size of the island, really. And we're gonna be going forward, we're going to be going side to side. We are going to be building a huge platform. So we need huge cobble. Eh, waste not. But you I can waste. Alright, and let's make this a bit less ugly. I should have kept one. Okay, let's make that out of, I don't know, primarily... Hmm... Panels. Yeah, that's kind of a nice... Eh. Do I want something that's connected? Maybe we'll use that for cornerstones of it. Hmm. Yeah, tiles and panels. That seems sensible. Just lay it all on out. And switch it into panel mode. Maybe maybe pillars, not panels. Is there a pillar in this anywhere? Not seeing it. Ah. Pillar. Yeah, that looks okay. That kind of like... Hmm. I forgot to turn these tile. And yes, this is completely and utterly unnecessary, but we might as well make it less of an eyesore. Okay, and where's my pillars? There we go. Yeah, that looks acceptable-ish. Yeah. All right. Well, as you can see, we now have all the cobble coming right on in. And that's beautiful and wonderful. So, from here on, the next step is going to be, I'm going to want to build out a little bit. And I'm going to want to make some storage for our petroleum products as well as crude oil. And I'm going to start wanting to work on a build craft fuel refinery. So, starting the great expansion and working our way up to the Buildcraft factory will probably be a next time issue. I think that, as I said, I started the stream because I could not sleep. This is not early morning, this is late night. And I think it's time for me to give it another go. So, we made some wonderful progress today. We have cobble. We have all the cobble. And that is a wonderful feeling. Let's keep it in here. Easier to find. And there. And let's disinfect our torches real quick. Just because it'll drive me nuts. Yep, you too. 
Ian slash computer wizard. And really, as soon as you get like your first video out, let me know. Because if you are getting serious into content creation, I am willing to give you any boost that I can. So uh, everyone watching this computer wizard over there on the chat, um, if I know, if I can figure out a way to work the chat, if I can, like, can I? No, I don't get any option over in OBS to take a look at your channel. Leave a comment, man. I got to find where your channel is. All right, all right, all right. So, next time we'll be expanding the storage system and we will be starting on the base proper and we'll be working our way up to a Billcraft refinery. In the meantime, Devin, Computer Wizard, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for keeping me some company. Have yourselves a lovely day. Have yourselves a beautiful evening. Good night, everybody.